This guy must be the sneakiest shark of them all. Now, I'll bet you've never seen a shark that looks like that. Unless, of course, you've spent a lot of time in the deep sea. And look at the size of those eyes. Those big eyes are a good indication that the cookie cutter is a visual predator. And that is a set of teeth. Cookie cutter's tooth to body size are larger than any shark known. And those rubbery lips allow it to attach to the side of its prey like a suction cup. Then those wicked looking teeth take over. <laughs> this one's a bit feisty, but he's also not real. You see, cookie cutters are notoriously difficult to find. I can vouch for that. So, we made one. That enables us to show you their sneaky ambush technique. It's a technique that allows the cookie cutter to feed on animals sometimes hundreds of times their size. Whales, dolphins, tuna, seals, as well as other sharks. And you think, why would these large marine animals let a little cookie cutter get close enough to bite them? They can easily outswim them. But they don't. Well, that's one of the cookie cutter's tricks. They don't see him coming. Why? Well, the cookie cutter also glows in the dark. It's bioluminescent. Two chemicals in the cells of its underbelly react to produce a light bright enough to read by. And you might think that would make him light up like a beacon, but actually it doesn't. Seen from directly below, the cookie cutter's luminous belly makes it nearly invisible against the light from the surface. But you can see there's a small dark patch around its throat, the only bit that's not lit up. Now, to a predator hunting close to the surface at night, like this school of yellowfin tuna, the cookie cutter's dark collar resembles a small and potentially tasty fish. Just the sort of thing that attracts their attention. So, in darts the tuna, but wham, the cookie cutter turns the table. Let's slow that down and see it again. The little shark uses the approaching speed of the tuna to maximize its impact. He bites, then twists his whole body around, gouging out a perfectly round golf ball-sized chunk of flesh. 